of ridiculous payments. The BBC Psh, apparently... Angry. Yeah, hammer, um, hammer, you thought I was angry hammer. now. I'm hammer. a little bit more angry now. Well, run us through why you're enraged. Well, £7 million. So the Daily Express have been doing this really interesting investigation, which I was actually following. Um, and this mysterious rebrand, one of their rebranding exercises. And lots of us have quite strong views about the BBC's choices about, you know, budget and budget cuts and what they're paying people and all of that kind of thing. Anyway, the BBC have taken months and months and months to reveal how much this rebranding costs. But of course, this isn't just a rebranding, waste of money, kind of £7 million rebranding. This is licence fee payers' money. Mm. This £7 million rebranding, it was a, it was a digital rebrand and it was a move to create a modern BBC. Um, and this is as over 75s are forced to pay for the licence fee and many regional news outlets recently have been closing. Mm. And I'm sure many of them, if you were to actually ask them, would you prefer a rebrand or would you prefer to keep your local radio station? Yeah. I, you well, know yeah. What yeah. That, yeah. that money could have kept mm. people in jobs. jobs you know, yeah. I do like the BBC and the content that they create, but in terms of their infrastructure, they always fail to read the room in terms when it comes to finances and what their money should be going. How they could spend £7 million on logos, it just doesn't make sense to me. But, but, just... but, but also on these logos as well. I mean, yeah. I mean yeah. Yeah. So we hold, up hold it up. Um, I mean, £7 million for what appears to be... Just, well, I mean, I'm not being funny, but if I had a toddler and she came home from kindergarten with her, I'm not sure I'd even put it on the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like something you could just you just knock out. I could do one for you on the desk right now. Yeah. I mean, it's just squares. Seven million It is, pounds, it is just, yeah, that's, that's the, I don't think we'd get a and job this, review. And, but. The, and these logos <laughs> were rolled out in October 2021. And it's it's not just the with the rebranding, it's yeah. the lack of transparency. Like Stephanie, I really respect mm -hmm. a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of the BBC's mm -hmm. output and some brilliant journalists, some fantastic presenters. And I work, you know, I work yeah. at the BBC a lot. Yeah. But I think this kind of thing, when it's taxpayers' money, mm -hmm. you know, this isn't just some kind of, ma you know, um, management consultancy. This is actually taxpayers' money. And this is over 75. Lots of people I know now are saying, do you know what, I'm not going to pay the licence fee and I'm not going to um, engage with that kind of content at all. I feel so. like they own the public uh, explanation on why this costs £7 million. Mm. Well, they do. Because it just... I mean, I, and, and like you say, the fact that there has to be an investigation into this. Mm. I mean, this was an FOI investigation that's taken mm. over a year uh, to For these out. figures yeah. to be revealed. Yeah, exactly. It when it's do. public money, actually. <laughs> well, it does, yeah. and they do have that duty. I get that it's a slightly different thing, in a sense, and mm. emotionally, maybe, because people see, see the BBC through their screens. But, I mean, if it is public money, then the public have a right to know exactly Where how and why it was spent. spent. Exactly. Yeah. Mm.